every single day, you know, as strenuous, as stressed, or as tedious as this game was to make, all 60,000 frames, 500 pens, that just a, a copious amount of, of work and effort went into this, like blood, sweat, and tears. I, we woke up every single morning raring to go into our basement and get started. We were in love with this game and nothing was gonna stop us. This is a very new scene for me. I come from a different um, educational background, a different career path, studied biomedical science, uh, minor in physics, and then eventually ended up in the financial sector. Um, and somehow, some way, I landed in video game. Coincidentally enough, my husband, Chad Molnahar, who's one of the co-creators, had decided to sell his company and go full-time on making this little video game that he and his brother had conceived in their heads since they were children. We put a YouTube trailer up of a very, very short snippet of kind of the prototype of what we were looking at doing, and it caught the attention of Microsoft, and it just kind of took off from there. It was a moment in time that I will vividly remember. It was like Christmas Eve when we got the email from someone in their business development team and how it was just blown away. And so it was at that time that we thought, okay, you know what, um, if they have the confidence in us and they want us to join them and partner with, with them on the, on the Xbox platform, let's quit our jobs and let's start doing this full time and taking it seriously. The gameplay actually came first. Platformer, Boss Rush, they love Boss Rush, is a retro game, extremely challenging. Um, and so and they knew the mechanics, they knew how they wanted it to function. And we toggled with a number of different eras, a number of different art styles, you know, from watercolor to crayon drawings to, um, it was always going to be a cartoon form of some sort. And nothing really stood out to us in any of the prototypes until we sat back and said, okay, what kind of cartoons do we love? And we actually all had watched the 1930s cartoons growing. He'd started animating digitally, but it didn't look right. It was missing the magic. So we said, okay, well, if we want it to look like the 30s, we have to do it the 30s way. We just started, started animating, concepting out various characters. I think there are three sketchbooks full of concept ideas for characters. By this point, we had shown a montage and our social channels exploded. So did our minds at that time. We were like, what? Because we initially had thought there's maybe 500, 1,000 people who might buy this game. We're just, we're testing the waters, seeing what, what the community is like. So when we saw all of these, all this feedback come from a four second clip, that's when we ultimately decided to remortgage our home, put our cars on the line, like everything that we had. The one thing that was missing was passion. 